All right, let's go for a little gamble here. Tried and true, old faithful. One mil in Nerks, one mil in these chests, and one mil in my favorite item to lose MP tokens. So let's get after it. All oh, right, look at this. Whoa. Okay, Neo Pets is lagging. Not a great start to a video, but we're gonna keep on going. <laughs> In the rare chance you don't know, we're basically only chasing the morphing potions here of good pets with the NCUCs coming back through here, different species. Some of the basic MPs have just skyrocketed four, five, six X. So decent chance to make some money here if you get super lucky, but we'll see how it's going. But aside from that, well, before that, uh, I'm desperate to get a magical croc plushie here. I think it's pirate, but that's never going to happen, so let's keep on going. But I am kind of curious to know what your guys' thoughts are about Neopets. Do you guys play it more than you used to? Are you playing it less? Is it about the same? Just kind of curious. I haven't done a, a little gut check to, any <laughs> to people who still play or even watch my videos. Some people, they... They come in, they dabble, they check in every couple months, then they leave quickly. Some are obviously the faithful, the few, the chosen, the something, the marines. <laughs> they like they they are here until there's no more flag. It's just or no more website. <sighs> obviously here we're uh we're a day after me shitting on that AMA. I guess we can maybe talk about that later. I'm always curious about the specific individuals who have faith in TNT because I would love to have some copium injected into my wallets sorry <laughs> they wish to have money injected into their wallets I want to be injected with some kind of positive you know belief system or myth or anything but I kind of can't I can't connect those dots, so maybe you guys got a theory or an idea. Love to hear it. I just don't know how this plot's going to do anything or change anything. I was going over, I was, well, not going over, I was watching some South Park, uh, basically Matt and Trey, after a little time after they do the season run, they do a little quick four minute on each episode and how they got there. And he was talking about how way back in the day, because you had to rerun your show to be popular and syndicate that kind of bullshit, that you couldn't retcon. I mean, so you could, you couldn't like, you couldn't change a story so much that a person could, if a person watched like a season four episode, and versus a season one, could they still understand the basic premise of the show and the world still function without it being broken? Because obviously Kenny always dies. Because I've I've always been kind of annoyed how. TNT just doesn't update the game. Everything feels so inconsequential. Like we don't get nothing matters. Like in a TV show, Kenny not dying. The fun part was how was Kenny gonna die? And there was no better one than when he gets killed by Velociraptors. It's like what? I'm very sad I'm with a million MP here, but anyway. Yeah, it just it's hard to invest in a game that should be very story and lore driven. And then nothing really seems impactful. And then it's super hard to be engaged in a plot without there being consequences. This is complete dog shit. Maybe that step was worth something, but we're going to send that to Narnia. All right. Neocol tokens. You gotta end on Nerks, guys, because otherwise, you know, the dream of something good dies. They're talking about the dream dies. Yeah, a lot of dreams do die. Yeah, the plot. Yeah, it. I don't know. It's one of those things. It's in the same way as a kid. I always believed Ash Ketchum could win the cup. I'm not gonna go through them individually, obviously, these Neil Cole Dogans. And then I like a re <clears throat> sorry, 
spicy foods got my throat on fire. Whew. Right, Pokemon. I was talking about that. He, but eventually, he won the cup, and I was like, "Yay!" Like, where do you go from there? But it's one of those things where it truly never feels like Neopets has a plan forward or a future or some sort of nothing ever feels like it's drastic or this at stakes or there's an enemy that any point could come in. I really wouldn't, I didn't go that hard up, but the whole, um, uh, Amanda files <clears throat> where she got, I think I'm not sure if she held the event or what happened, but this avatar bullshit thing where it was mainly run from an, off-site things like Twitter and Twitter and Instagram or whatever TikTok shit they do now. I don't know. It, it I just wish we would have something in the game to be proud of and to be like, "Hey, this is some cool shit." And <clears throat> Hmm, where to go from there? just it's hard to find a way to be positive about oh shit i zoom in here i forgot about that oh 300k i definitely made some money back there it's a little slow it's a little faster in case you don't know i max zoom when i spend these for a little bit of suspense but 300 to get one transmog i mean <laughs> it's possible possible like you could go to a 7-eleven and buy a scratch card and win you know a million dollars possible guys statistically it's possible but yeah like i just when dominic talks about the resurgence and then oh my goodness it's a buzz transmog and a robot pet pet. Uh, my, my eyes are closed. I'm pretending I'm like Dorothy. You're asleep. You're like, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Oh my. I'm chasing the top three or top four potions. I call them Exodia. It's like there's five. It's buyable. Yo, Dead ass, this game plays with me so hard. 800k. I, I said I lost money getting, <laughs> getting the rare table that I'm statistically have a low chance of getting. <sighs> this is like those memes I see every so often, where, not a meme, but I'll see like a short on YouTube where this guy finds a lamp and it's like some scuffed like animation and he gets wishes and then like the wish you ask for it like they take it where they it's like a trickster kind of like a genie i guess but they like guy goes i wish i had a bigger fucking wiener that's like it's just too big to be, be practical it's like oh like haha well like i wish i had all the money in the world and like the money's above him and it falls down and crushes him i feel like i'm that character right now where I asked for it, but I wasn't specific, and now it's like, okay, it's gone. All right. If I would have used it on myself, okay, I mean. A buzz potion, bro. Why couldn't buzz have good UCs, bro? Well, you know what? Like, no matter what, I'll get a, a third of my money back. I'm going to see if I got back about 100k from that, or 200k from the tokens. All right, beer. I gotta clean this up. Give me a second. My goodness, my SCB is totally scuffed. That's not good. <laughs> it's, it's it's become such a problem. I'm not sure how to even fix it properly. That's not good. All right, let's keep on keeping on here. Ah, Bazaar is the wrong one. It's the Plaza. That must be a fun word to like enunciate if you're not like a first language English. That that's Plaza. <laughs> Uh, by the way, the best Zod, like, one of the best skits I saw, like, because that's not kind of sucks these days, 
was whether za is pizza or lasagna. It's like, <laughs> uh, good times. Just sad knowing we're never going to get the Chappelle show back ever again or like, that's one of the saddest parts about growing older or just, I guess, even like being a kid and having innocence is you never know you're in that perfect twilight peak golden age period until it's gone. Like that South Park for me or like watching Futurama like at night, like before going to school, like or before going to bed at high school, I watched like Futurama, King of the Hill and South Park, like back to back to back doing homework. It was so awesome. And those days are gone. Also, like, the first three seasons of the Boondocks, it was like, fuck, like, that, like, probably, like, one of my favorite shows in that they just constantly, those episodes, you could rewatch and get a good laugh every single time. And then you get the one where Huey uh, tags his own house with uh, Bob Ross. That might be the peak episode of that show. That's basically like the Futurama, like that's the episode equivalent of the Futurama where that with the the dog at waits for fry. Uh, the good thing about talking about your previous happy memories is that when you get nothing here, you're not that sad. <laughs> Bottles vary. All right. That's a ripperoni pepperoni. Not even a rerun of a nerd mid. Alright, well that was I spent three million. I did something similar a little while ago. I'm truly hoping that we get treasure map pieces in the next update for the prize pool on the daily thing. They just send that down, that's fun. All players get a little chance to dabble in with it. I think that'd be super interesting and fun. Whether it's a space map or regular treasure, I'm, it's not going to be the underwater one, but that'd be super cool. I guess in ending, I'm just kind of curious what you guys, if you could have one dream wish to add a Neopad, something cool. I still think it'd be super cool that instead of having paintbrushes added to the prize pools, they just had five regular paintbrushes and five Peppa paintbrushes you could buy for whatever 300k 500k in the super shop wizard you can go buy one a day but there's no trade so once you have it you keep it like you have to use it that way if you're you know tits on a bull horny to go do something like that you can have fun doing that meanwhile for the puritans who want to have a super spicy gallery or to not have premium devalued by nerd bids being sent to the shadow realm like Yu-Gi-Oh. uh <sighs> I miss being there being good villains in anime. N to be honest though, what a great name a Maximilian Pegasus was. That guy, as a kid, I'm like, this is a perfect hero. This is some crazy lunatic that like everyone had some person they'd met in life. They'd be like, that's probably a, that person that could be in the anime. It was amazing. <laughs> I remember Toon World being broken as shit, and then the member it's sucking so badly in the actual tcg oh you don't have the stupid castle card well you can't summon your fucking tunes get fucked bruh this is ultra rare all right all right we're gonna move on here hopefully i'll see you guys next time and as always don't drop the soap and in case you watch boondocks you can call me the health inspector <laughs> and you didn't wash behind your ears or nothing <laughs> That's another great episode. Fuck. I should rewatch the Boondocks. At least a few episodes. All right, guys. Peace. Take care.